Hello YouTube world. Shadowbird is back again, Dark Soldier 712, and I've tech even though it's not in the username, I have technically been using the term Shadowbird to describe me long ago when I started doing videos like this. So, to anyone else who thinks I should stop using the term Shadowbird just because it's not in my username, ah, uh, no. Anyway, I wanted to get a few thoughts in on the uh, recent uh, college football situation. The whole conferences being realigned thing, you know. Quite frankly, all this bothers me. I mean, I know it's got no to do with really nothing but money. And money is going to drive a lot of where people, where certain teams go. At this point, the championship has just taken a complete back seat to, oh, how much money can we make? As a result, the conference that I've been a fan of for, God, more than a decade now is being ripped apart, you know? The Big 12 is soon to become the big nothing. And that kind of bothers me, you know? I mean... I don't really want to root for a conference that includes the University of South Southern California, even if they have been given, you know, the big smackdown from the NCAA. And um, you know, I I have emotional ties to OU, and because of my Big Twelve loyalties, I'm still kind of somewhat of a fan of Texas unless they play OU and you know, Oklahoma State has been big rival for Oklahoma pretty much forever especially in recent years when Oklahoma State's been becoming a big team again so I know those three are probably going to end up in the same place, no matter what happens. But, you know, we've got the ancient rivalry between OU and Nebraska that's being comp probably going to be destroyed because it looks like Nebraska is going to go up to the Big Ten and OU is going to go over to the pack whatever and if Texas and OU and OSU and whoever else is left don't go anywhere well then by the NCAA's own and may I state very very stupid rules any conference that doesn't have at least 12 teams can't have a conference championship game not, I'm trying to figure it out in my mind. How can a conference with 10 teams not have a championship game? Is, I mean, is it really that hard to divide them into divisions? Oh, division of five teams? Division of five teams. Woo! You know, no problem whatsoever. I mean, if you had odd numbers, yeah, then you have a little trouble dividing them into equal divisions. But still... I mean, if you've got ten teams, five-team division, five-team division, winners meet in a championship game, problem solved. The only possible silver lining that I can see in all this reshuffling into at least one and possibly even two 
mega conferences is that if it keeps going the way it does and we only end up with like three or four mega conferences that means the BCS is dead I mean how can you have a workable BCS system with only four giant major conferences and in my mind that would set up perfectly for a tournament style championship I mean you could have you could have for a preliminary round four subdivisions within the 16 team league groups of four whoever comes out whoever comes out of that goes to the division championships I mean well, hold on. Yeah, the preliminaries would be the division cha championships where the two top teams of each subdivision would come together. And then the two division cha champions in the mega conferences would then go on for the conference championship. That would be your quarterfinals. Fi and then, once you, know, you get the seeding figured out somehow, then you can have proceed from there in the uh, what would normally be the bowl system have an eight team playoff from there or four or a four team playoff from there rather because you'd have the conference champions I mean I mean it makes sense doesn't it tops in your sub in your subdivision of your conference go together to fight for the division championship. Then you have the division champions come together for the conference championship, essentially quarterfinals of an eight team tournament. And then the conference winners duke it out in a single elimination tournament for the actual championship. That's the only silver lining I could see possibly coming out of this. And even then, that's like sprinkling sugar on a pile of dung. Quite frankly, I am starting to get very, very disillusioned with college football. I mean, it seems like there are recruiting violations from one team or another every bloody year. Whether it be in football or basketball or whatever. And... You know, the BCS very rarely has a clear-cut case of who should face who. But y'all know that. I complain about, I've complain i complained about that for, God, the last few years or so that I've been on YouTube. And college football is becoming increasingly involved revolved around money not taking into account you know getting these students actually prepared for if not careers in the NFL then careers somewhere else in life the idea of a student athlete is starting to become a joke really I mean there are so many schools out there who don't even graduate half of their student athletes you know And when you factor that in, and and this reshuffling of com conferences to try and strengthen each call each conference, get all, a bunch of the big markets all together in different spots. <sighs> I, it's really starting to bug the crap out of me. I, I, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to watch and enjoy college football. I know one thing's for sure. I won't have a conference loyalty anymore if the Big 12 is ripped apart and even if it's downsized. That's a shame. 